Hello, a bit of a, a viewer answer today. I had a, a comment from Mad Grumpyman about how would he wire up for smart telemetry using the R9MM. And uh, my instructions was, I think you just plug it into the UART and it's a, an uninverted one. Um, and he was he was having trouble and um, got confused in the whole inverted, non-inverted things. Which I have to admit is, is a confusing factor. I just kind of go with like, oh, this is an inverted or non-inverted. So I thought it was about time we revisited the R9MM on this quad. As you see, we've we've got the, uh, I forgot what they call the antenna. The one that looks a bit like the TBS one. Um, and this has got an R9MM in there. And I was hanging around because FreeSky assured me months ago that they were going to update the R9 so it would allow over-the-air updates. So I didn't want to desolder this, update it, and then have to do it again to get the over-the-air stuff. But they seem to be doing access protocol and new things and I don't know what they're doing with R9 at the moment. So I thought, well, let's let's update the receiver. Let's sort out how to connect up telemetry or smart port telemetry uh, so we get stuff back to the radio. And um, it, it'd be quite a good exercise for me because I, I never usually bother with telemetry. Uh, and then I can hopefully help out a viewer. So um, yeah, let's crack this open and see what we need to do. And hopefully, let's demystify a little bit what we mean by inverted and non-inverted when we're talking about UARTs. So I'm on my little scope from a kit here, so it's a bit noisy, but this is the output from a FreeSky um, X4R, and this is using an inverted S-Bus signal. And what you can see here is that we have a baseline, and then the signal goes high. And this is how the sort of ones and zeros are interpreted. If we look at the flip side, and for this one we are using a full speed RC uninverted S bus receiver and I can't quite get the capture right so it's flickering around a bit we can see it's the inversion of it so the zero signal is high and then the actual signal of the S bus is, is low it goes downwards these make a, a little bit more sense when you put them side by side now the, the way digital electronics interprets this is in binary so you have your low signal which is a zero and your high signal which is a one and the difference between it is the voltage so on in this case the inverted input a zero is let's say zero volts and a high signal is more than that let's say one volt this these aren't the actual measurements but it doesn't really matter and on the uninverted signal and yeah i thought it would work the other way around as well the a one volt is means a binary zero and the zero volt means binary one so it's inverted in in programming terms you would use a logical not gate and in electronics you can actually build one of those and that's what a hardware inverter is the idea here of me trying to explain this and you know feel free to correct me because this is my own interpretation is not that you should understand what it is but just understand that inverted versus non-inverted is something different and this is why the two can't be mixed. In some boards you can change UARTs like on F3s and F7s, on others you can't like F4s, although apparently some of them do have hardware inversion so you might be able to change them. I'm not sure which is which though. So just to show what you get beforehand, you can see that I've got, and I've just taken the, the heat shrink off for now, if it's going to focus, the S-Bus connectors. I've got S-Bus, ground and power. Um, but if you connect that with telemetry on, you get a little bit of telemetry back on the radio. So if I were to say discover new sensors, we would see that we get uh, an RX battery value and an RSSI value. So you get that much. But to get the other stuff, yep, we need to go ahead and connect another wire. Now, the way FreeSky put it is you'd think you'd connect to that S port and the inverted S port is an inverted one but I believe uh, having a look at what other people have said that FreeSky around the wrong way and the inverted S port is actually the inverted S port so I'm going to try connecting this one up to one of my TX's I think I've got TX6 there just under there you can see there's a, a spare slot and I'm going to try connecting it to there and uh, yeah we'll see if we've got some telemetry going on and you know perhaps I might have to move it over to here we'll we'll find out aside from the physical wiring there's a couple of small changes to do in beta flight the first is in the ports tab and basically you just need to put smart port on your telemetry output for that spare UART that you've chosen the other one is in the configuration tab and it's just a case of making sure you have the telemetry output enabled in the other feature section in in both cases you have to do a save and reboot after okay well that's wired up that's going to focus very well and you can see I've got my 
white wire going from my, as Freescale called it, the inverted uh, S port, which probably isn't, and that goes down to TX6 just down there. So let's power on and see if we can find some sensors. So here's my radio. If we just try and discover the new sensors, hey, look at that, we've got lots. Uh, what have we got? Heading. Does that change if I move it around? Look at that. Changes. Fuel. Tempest. I don't know what fuel is. Current. VFAF. I don't know. Uh, temperature. I don't know if that's right. Mm. Uh, and then the accelerometer readings, which I guess are going to move around if we do stuff. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I guess if you've got more stuff added to your flight controller, that stuff will come down as well. But yeah, the actual hookup doesn't look too bad. Obviously, I need to now put some shrink wrap around it and put this back on before I can fly it. But yeah, that's the general gist of smart telemetry on uh, R9. But what if we wanted to put something else on, like a GPS, and we've used up our last TX port, and I need an RX and a TX for a GPS, what can we do then? So what I want to talk about in the next video is using a completely different pin for transmitting telemetry data, which is using soft serial. And I've got an LED pin here, which I'm not using. So can I use that to use soft serial to transmit my smart telemetry, freeing up my TX and RX pin for my GPS? Next video. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. So thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.